What is up guys, Ordinary Roll here, and Firewatch is the game that we're gonna play, or oh, well, I'm gonna play and you guys gonna watch, if you want to, of course. And I just gotta say, like, this is just the start menu right off the bat, I've, I've only watched the trailer besides this, and the game looks absolutely amazing, the graphics are stunning, and I like that, it's, it's, I haven't seen anything much like it before, I mean, it kind of got that Borderlands feel to it, but in, it missed the cell shattering that I know Borderlands has, or Borderlands has, yeah, um, all over, but it, it, it just looks kind of neat, I'll say neat, yeah, it looks neat, really beautiful actually, can't wait to get started with it, I'm just gonna press the new game here, uh, number one, just an empty game, let's start it up, see what it's all about, the game recently came out, so um, it's a new release of Steam, and I'm really looking forward to, to getting into it. It's kind of this adventure game. I don't know if it's horror exactly. It's kind of a bizarre trailer. It maybe peaked a little horror uh, stuff, but uh, I don't. It's not like all-out horror like Outlast or something like that. So Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Is that where we are? I see. I see Julia. 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 Where are you? I can't see anything. My vision's blurred. Julia. Julia. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna press this. I. S yeah. She's about your age. Late twenties. Laughing with the well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. Was it Boulder? I don't. Know. I'm gonna call it Boulder. You, Henry. I'm Henry. Are out drinking with your pals. Hey, mates. I'm gonna drink tonight. I approach her. Okay, I'm drunk. You, you're pretty. So, what you, what you're, you, you know, major. Uh, you know, I'm gonna start with a less creepy intro. You slur the word major and it smells like curse. I guess that's it. The drink, alcoholic drink. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. Oh, hot. And I'm a professor. Oh, well, well then. Cool. <laughs> Best answer ever. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She. Oh, okay, so she dissed us. She says definitely. Worry she hurt your feelings? She asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. Marry that girl! <laughs> One week later, I'm Julia's boyfriend. Okay, things moving pretty fast there. But that's fine. Things have. Okay, we're in an elevator now. And there's a wheelchair. Oh! Okay, it looked like a wheelchair. It was a pretty weird wheelchair, but it's a backpack. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my backpack. A nice backpack, actually. Um, let's stock it. Is oh, okay. I'm gonna open here. Uh, we are in a garage. I'm gonna just see if there's anything, anything specific we can explore. I'm guessing that the point is for us to get in our van. Oh, just load the gear in the truck. Close that up. Oh, okay, we didn't need to get in the truck. We could. I dated her for over a year. Oh, that's great. I move in. We share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. We should drink beers out of the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is really good. <laughs> Everybody loves beer. Julia wants to get a dog. Well, we'll get a dog then. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Beagles are really cute. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gently eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Hmm. The Shepherd and named Mayhem. The beagle and she names him Bucket. Uh, that's a hard one. I mean, I'm a forest ranger or something. It's a fire watch that I work with, right? So maybe a shepherd wouldn't be so bad. It's it's kind of more a forest dog. But beagles are also really good at, at hunting and stuff. Um, I mean, like, Julia is in love with the dog. But I can't choose between two things already, man. Oh. Uh, well, Julia likes it, so we're going to get the beagle. I uh, totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves Bucket. Okay, well, that's the most important thing. I hope the other one got a good home, too. 1979, so four years after I met Julia. We talk out on the deck. It's summer. 
9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates all over the high desert. I mean, I really like this short backstory. Even though it's just text, it's like really... Oh, that's an expression, yeah. Oh. What do you think about kids, she says. She asks, I, I like kids. When they're adults. <laughs> no, okay. The kids are ki kids are great. Kids, they're not very smart. Well, that that's also true. They can be pretty dumb, um, or or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some a couple little idiots, hey, yeah, I love Julia. That'd be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Well, that's a good idea. I mean, it's not a requirement, but it's a good idea. I like that. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. She says she's absolutely right. Didn't have any other choice. Oh my god, the colors, they... Well, they surprised me. I mean, seriously, just look at this. I can't, um... Well, the most important thing is that you guys can see it, and this is not a radio channel. It looks amazing, man. Thoroughfare Trailhead. No fireworks. Well, okay. It's not recommended for inexperienced hikers. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. There's bears here? Shit. Why can't I bring fireworks then? I'll scare them off. Do not forget to check in. Where's the, where's the reception? I don't see it. Uh, 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 so this is the map. I like the details. In the, I can actually read the small text. And just two place. Oh, okay. It's pretty hard to read, but I can like squint out some of the words. So I guess we're there where the red square is. And don't really know where we're supposed to go. We're well, just gonna start walking, I guess. See what we get from there. I'm truly amazed with these colors and this graphic. These graphics, I mean. Oh, okay, that was a nice short walk. 1980. It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Where did she go? She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Oh, that's, uh... Well, if she hasn't returned my calls and stuff, I... I'd get mad because I'd be worried sick. Inconsiderate as well. Maybe that's that's like a little too exaggerating, but I don't know the story yet. She tells you to fuck this. Okay, I'll call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it it hurts her feelings. Well, things took a turn, and now the black background's blue. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants for her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. You pose and flex like He-Man. Definitely He-Man. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. I look awesome. Oh, okay, that's uh, that's something I needed to click on. Wait, well, hey, down we go. Hello? Is there anyone here? Is there a dog here? A bucket? What's it called? The beagle. The bucket's not with me. I like how the colors change depending on the mood of it all. I like bright yellow, red. Uh, eight more miles to go. Okay. Space bar to climb over obstructions. Hop over. It's kind of like Team Fortress 2, the animation of the, our, our character during the summer. You and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. We haven't had kid yet. Was it like three years ago we talked about it? Okay, there's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries. To oh, damn! Bucket gets no. Beep, bap, fuck, da, dog, Julia. What? She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. Oh, I confront the attacker. Bring it on, bitch! You beat his goddamn face in. Yeah, beat his goddamn face in. Don't kick my dog. Cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. Cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Well, of course, you cut my arm open, man. Julia has to take a different path from that day forward. Sure. I don't want to get that way either. Either. We walk by the river. Well, that's a, that's a nice road, too. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. 
So they're five years delayed and now they get delayed because of work. Okay. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Oh, that's awesome. Yale is in Connecticut. I didn't know that. Nice thing they explained it. 2,000 miles away. So great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Who says that? I haven't made the choice yet. Convince her not to take the job. I grieve she commutes back and forth. Well, if she wants to move, then, um, well, my choice would be to move with her because I don't really know what's holding me back from moving. Um, so I'm just gonna choose agree until I know more. You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that will be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. Yeah. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Okay, then one day we can move there, maybe. She sent home from Yale and paid a league after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. Okay. She didn't remember what she didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Julia, what's going on, man? She was found crying in the stairwell. He said that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Oh, we definitely talked to someone about it. Seems very serious. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they were worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. Oh no, she's 41. Keep it a secret for now. Well, if, if, that was, if that's what we agree on. Why am I all alone in the forest? Why is Julia not with me? This is supposed to be a couple's thing. Oh, my journal. I don't look at that. Hey, that's uh, Oh, I guess that's me when I post as He-Man. Some nice bubbles there. Didn't see that. <laughs> uh, Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Okay, she's back to the university. Um... Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. Damn. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Isn't she just fired then? Some days you get the Julia who calls you dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other, day, other days you get a stranger. Shit, man, this is sad as fuck. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You, you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. Well, that's a, that's a nice family. All oh, while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Oh, come on. Don't make me feel stuff. Haven't even started the game really yet. Spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24 hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. That's hard because I want to take care of her by myself but doesn't really explain if I can or can't do it depending on our lives. I want to take care of her by myself. I would I would do that. Oh shit, the colors again, man. Ah, okay, we'll wonder a little bit more. See where it goes from there. This game is making me feel things and stuff. That's uh I like that and I don't like that. It depends on what it makes me feel. Oh, there's a deer. A crouch or something? Just walk really slow? Oh, it did that by itself. Hey, dear. No, no. Don't be scared. Or, or dance. Well, I mean, if you if you have to dance, you can do it. Okay. Uh, it's it's impossibly hard. Oh, uh, error. Uh, the worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. Can't do anything without her. She can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. Stop drinking, dude. 
Don't drink all the time, once in a while is okay. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. I mean, she can't help it if she, if she, if she just walks away. So to be safe that that she's safe, I put a chair in front of the door because you never really know. And if I'm asleep, I can't really do anything about it. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Station or yeah, Station or Street. I don't know. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. Staying home with Julia. Some more, maybe. Um, instead of coming back 1 a.m. after going to a bar, man. You look forward to those nights. Where go I drinking? Is that what's. Whoa! Okay. One night I'm stopped at a DUI checkpoint. I blow a point 10 and a second to jail for the night. Damn! You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. What the fuck is happening to my character? Get your shit straight. I understand it's hard, but don't go out drinking and stuff, man. Get. We should have probably. Or we should probably have gone to help then. Ah, oh, this game is so much. Uh, I can't really explain it. <laughs> Then they tell you Julia's coming to live with them. You can't you can't choose that. I don't argue. I say I'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. I haven't had a job yet. I take the job. What is going on? Well we are going to enter the lookout tower. I don't like these colors though, those are a little bit more scarier than the ones we saw before. Anyway, it's not too, too bad. Maybe the, I, I, I bet the view is like really, really awesome. It's like, gonna be breathtaking. Oh, it's boarded up. I'm gonna enter. Oh. It's a mouse, not E. Okay. This is nice. I'm gonna start from... Uh, use the generator? Ah, light. That's nice. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Is that me? Hi. Who are you? Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Thoroughfare. Okay. Hold left shift to activate video. Oh, hello, and hello, and um, okay, hello. okay, I get it now. Whatever this is, it's Henry, right? Yeah. Yeah, my name's Henry. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me. What? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Yeah. What's wrong with you, huh? Idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now I hiked you two days to go here what's wrong with me? Well, okay fine then can I what, sleep forever sure buddy okay now go ahead okay reply you've killed three ex-husbands you're rebelling against mom nobody back home with oh that's a, a not very nice answer uh, I okay. gonna choose that uh, one <laughs> you've killed three husbands you're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. <laughs> Ooh, oh, good. I got it right, man. <laughs> hey, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Okay. Oh, is that it? Close. <laughs> good night. Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. Really enjoying this game just from the like first. I, I don't know, I haven't even gotten a clue on how long I've played it yet. Maybe like 10 15 minutes. Anyway, morning, still really enjoying well, it. I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, well, we aren't a forest, so a rock isn't way up there. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. How can you see that I'm at my desk? Where is your tower? 
That's creepy, man. Okay. This is the photo with Julia. I want to see that. Okay, I'm just gonna... See if there's anything I can do. Well, the only thing I can do is just pick up the radio. So I'm gonna do that then. Ah, hold F shift again. Sorry, I guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours. I think that's sleep? her tower. Oh. Yeah, thoroughfare yeah. lookout. That's Jesus. where the liar is. Six. Six forty-five. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Oh, there's one, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. Osborne. <laughs> you use this to spot, you guessed it, yes. fi- What the fuck? What? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Uh, what uh, the hell? <laughs> Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West, 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 west. Are fucking fireworks? West. I hear something. I don't know where the hell west is. West window. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? No. Where's west? West. There. I see Seriously, it. Are you seeing this? I see it. I see it. I see it. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Oh, okay. Is that really my job? <laughs> job is whatever I say it is. Oh, okay. Is like Bowser. Go down there and set them straight. Okay, I'm gonna go down there then. Put on the backpack. No. Okay. Yeah, okay. He took it with him automatically. Do you, think you can handle that? I kicked the shit out of them. Can I write them a ticket? Do I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. Okay. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Oh, that's nice. Secure. Secure. <laughs> Shut up. Really? Yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. They're gonna go for it. I wonder if there's any way I can sprint. Settings, controls, climb, spacebar, move forward, straight left, straight right, juggle, jog. That's R, okay. So that's where we. Oh, I get it. Forest Ranger on the job. Or oh, Firewatch. Is, a f is someone who calls the Firewatch also a Forest Ranger? Don't really know. Well, it's the supply box. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Ta da! Oh. <laughs> supply catch. Hey, I can pick a pine cone up. Thanks. And granola bar. I want that. Oh, that's a rope. Deal with whoever's setting off fireworks <laughs> while picking up a rope. I'm gonna deal with them, all right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat this. I think it gives me energy, but I'm not really sure. What's this? Ron, hey man, got talking. Take it so it. Lo okay, I'm I'm gonna give up. Where was the fireworks again? Up here. I can hear it up here. Yeah. I hear something at least. Could be a bear. It could be a bear shooting fireworks. That would be awesome. I'm not gonna stop that. I'm just gonna watch that then. Let's see if I see something from here. Yeah, there's a nice view. Not gonna argue with that. Is it over here somewhere? Yeah, I hear it there. Uh, can't really see anything up in the sky. Still hear it over here. Just gonna continue going this way. See if there's something interesting. Yeah, there it was. There it is. Rope hook. Attach the rope to the hook. Just gonna do like this. Whee! And repel. Do I control the repel? 
Oui. Nice. Oh, holy shit. Damn. That must have hurt us. Well. Seemed to be alright. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> my rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? What? Maybe no, my back? I think I'll make it. Oh, okay. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Thought she was worried I broke some equipment or something. Uh, let's see, wasn't it the fireworks were... They don't want that's something over there. Yeah, there's some smoke coming from here on, and there's a bag over there. What's this? Empty beer cans. Definitely something going on here. Let's see if we can find something in the backpacks. They left their packs tied oh, up can here. Can ask the Christians about the that. Yeah, them. We just found where they're hanging. The out. clothes, clothes, and bonfire. Let's stomp that out. Fire safety and all. Stop that. Stop being on fire. Is it is it done? I think it's done. Fireworks. Pick up that. Just gonna make sure that this is the fireworks. Oh I can rotate them like this. Nice. Magic missile. Okay. Oh, I can confiscate if I hold E. Oh, is it mine now? And close. Can I confiscate those two? Okay, maybe not. And there's a bra. Right there. Okay, probably some young kids having a party. And there are some underwear. And another pair of underwear. Um, is it creepy to examine? <laughs> I like how he's holding it. Like, ugh. Nasty. Okay, okay. Kids. Stop whatever you're doing. Uh, what is it that your teens they are drunk? Can I say that on the radio? Hey, hey, you fucking kids! Fucking kids! Hey, you fucking I'm not fat. That's hurtful, man. <laughs> Did the other guy just repeat it? Is this your radio? Oh, put it down, you say? Okay. Okay. This guy. What? Fuck you, man. Put it down. You are the ones baiting naked in the. You know what? I'm down. Fuck that, man. I'm gonna take this. Is this yours? Oh no. Too bad, huh? Too bad. Da, 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 da. Fix hey, that. that. Okay? Yeah. It went fine. It went it fine. It went <laughs> fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Some more beer in this. Good. Gonna. Thanks for going down Confiscate there. it. Save for later. Well, that's that's pretty good also. <laughs> okay. So can I fast travel back or is it just a long road? Zoom in. Hey. Where am I? Okay. Well. Lower the map. Run like a bitch. Dun, dun, dun. Again, these graphics. Pretty freaking great. Do I need to climb down or. I think I need to climb down. I can't climb up again if I go over here, can I? I mean, I came from here, but. Maybe it's not possible. The rope snapped, so. Probably can't go that way back. Nope. Okay. Well, that makes sense also, but I had to try it at least. Really loving this game so far. Definitely. Uh, still need to... What? Oh, I, I don't have the rope anymore. Well, I'm gonna do the hardcore way then. Well, 
Can't do that either. Let me check the map again if that says anything. Zoom in. We're there. We need to go there, but our rope snapped, so we can't really do that, can we? I mean, it says we should go there. Let's go and see if there's anything we can do. Oh, maybe we drop the rope and we can pick it up again. There's something. I'm here now. There's, didn't you tell me to go here? You're telling me to go back now? I have no idea what's going on, man. Eeh! Yeah. Can't do that. Thought it was possible, but it was not. Let's see what's over here. Hmm. We need to go back to their camp and see if we can find out something that we can use. Oh, can we go that way? That seems like a way out. I'm gonna go there. <laughs> now we're gonna try this. Uh, oh, was that so, a, an animal? That was, yeah, that's a raccoon, isn't it? <laughs> Report the raccoon. Uh, You're under arrest. Out here, a raccoon. <laughs> it's a critter. I can't understand you. That's a critter. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. Stupid raccoon. Will you be my friend? Hello. Yes. <laughs> what the hell? Is this a code I missed? Is this some sort of code I missed? Are we evacuating or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. Then what then? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, uh, hope you're having a good afternoon. Okay. Thanks. Found a raccoon. Was that the only thing I could do over here? Oh, okay, I can go this way also. But that just leads me back to where we came from. Have they let left the camp yet? Uh, come on, man, really? Where does the map say we need to go? Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. Well, that makes sense. Well, it says to go where we just were um, and find something there. This is where we're from. I'm pretty sure we need to find some rope. Oh, and we need to do that in some of those boxes, yeah. The, um, what was it they were called again? Supply boxes it was. And isn't is the supply box on the map? It's the it's a catch a a catch. That's a supply box. So we need to go to that catch over there, and then go all the way back. Okay, so catch three o five. That's the one I meant. That one up there by the top of John C Lake. We need to go to that to get our rope. Then we can go back. Would have been nice to know. But uh, it's a blocked trail. Maybe we can clear that later. Uh, da, da, da. Maybe the girls are still down there. I don't know. Trail sign. What's this? Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here of near course, the lake. This is the way yeah, we're supposed to tower. go. So I should go this way. <laughs> You're not climbing back up that slide. Thank you for telling me that. Now, could have used it before, but who cares? I mean, I don't really need it. Did I miss the... Well, okay, if there's a trail to my tower from here, I'm just gonna follow that. I should probably lead back. Da Cool. Going down the road to my tower. Whoopsie. Follow the lake. 
That's a blocked road, isn't it? Or can I just squeeze so, through? I yeah, I think it's yeah, a nice. Bit of a confession to make. Oh, okay, what's that then? What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I woke up you to the chat. <laughs> okay, yeah, party well, on, man. Not the first boss to be guilty of that. <sighs> I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's okay, man. It's not a big deal. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Holy damn, what was that? Sounded like thunder. Nearby storm, okay, yeah, that's probably thunder then. Thunder and lightning. There is a supply box. Open. One, two, three, and four. Let's get some supplies. Flashlight. Could use that. Some point action. And no battery. Oh, okay. Batteries are in it. And a horn. I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. Can I use it to kill in the boxes? things? Why is that? If there is there's a bear really coming, I can use it. Horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. What the hell? Okay then. I'm just gonna go this way up here. Oh, there's a cave down there. Can I explore it? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Yeah. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. I'm gonna go in here, Great. Right? Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. Flashlight. Loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. There's an exit right there, man. And this is... They showed this at the trailer, actually, I remember. What? Oh, okay. Ah, open the gate! There's a locked this one. Yeah, okay. Although, Debbie says she lost them, like, three years ago, so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Oh. Ah, damn. Well. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Maybe. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. Hey, with Hello. <laughs> Hello. Play with the echo again. I bless the rain. Down in Africa. Africa. <laughs> really hope there's there's someone answering me at some point. Okay, I can't do any more. Okay, fine. Good eggs. <laughs> I would be scared shitless if somebody was just saying a really creepy, raspy voice or something. Going up. Watch out. Probably need to get back before that storm's gonna hit. I'm just gonna put a little sprint in then. Oh! Holy damn! Creepy guy. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. <laughs> the creeps. Stop, creepy guy. Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? Oh, he went away. I I don't think so. What was he supposed to do? Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this. Ah, oh, come on, this is not what a horror game, is it? It's outside. It's out what? Come on. <laughs> the whole thing. And people come and go as they please. <laughs> okay, they just yeah. scared me for a bit it. there. I thought it was gonna be haunted and stuff like that. Maybe I can meet the guy if I catch up to him. Jump! What's up? Dude! Come back here. Just wanted to say hello. Seemed like a nice guy. Why would I drop down? When I've just went up. 
Come on. Going up. If there's anything exciting up here, that's a rock climbing thing. Can't touch this. Whoopsie. And one more time. Just like that. Trail's closed. Phew. Holy Jesus, what? Oh, okay. it's just a sign. I thought the rocks were slipping. Oh, there's my tower. Great. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Can I, can I just pick it up again? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Okay. Well, thank you. Anytime. Well, it's not really safe to take, but fair enough. There's my toilet and outhouse. Wooden sign. Holy Jesus, dear fuck, that's a creepy face, man. Couldn't you just turn it around slight and slow instead of just whipping it out in my face? Look at that face. Look at that face. And of course, he has an axe. Oh, okay, it's a shovel. Still really creepy, though. Go away, man. Go away. Gonna take care of you right at this instant. Bye. Whew. Well, that's one problem taken care of. And what's this down here? Is it generator? So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas and well, you don't have Oh, I can use the toilet. So. Can I use it? Oh, okay, just gonna answer. Uh but my hair dryer. Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. Oh. I could never. <laughs> and the outhouse? Um so it's uh just the outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. <laughs> well, number one at least. And uh full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Well, thank you for that information. I'm gonna use this now. What's this? Is it baseball? Oh, Someone want to play catch while I poop? No? Okay. Doesn't really say anything. Does that the autograph? Nope. Don't drop it. Hot on. Use the toilet. Yeah, I feel uh, like I'm ready to go. What a Yeah. That's actually pretty true. <laughs> true. What? <laughs> okay, find a friend to talk to while I do the nasty. Okay. Well, gonna put in some speed here. That's a cistern. Sister, sister. Stay away from my mister. Spigot. Well, okay. Nice to meet you, Spigot. Going up, going up. Did somebody break in, man? No. Someone broke in. Hey, what? Really? The place. That's Threw fucking creepy. The Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. Why the scary music all of a sudden? I don't like that. First of all, I need to close the door. Is there someone in the area? I would like to watch that. There's someone here. Okay, I put in a call. Not somebody here. That was fast. That was fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea Is who could have done this? The girls, maybe? The guy? I don't even know. The girls had some issues with me, but the guy I didn't even talk to. Uh, the girls maybe. They yeah. probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck that. They left something on the button. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. Yeah, that'll be a nice. Hit. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some what violent campers. Uh, 
Okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Sounds like a good idea. We won't get much, but at least if Patriots. anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Salmon. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. That's nice. Uh, just tell me where to find just a gun, yeah. Service <laughs> weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, Did you even check. Uh, you... Someone made the choice oh, years my. ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and drawers and was kind cupboards. Of a bad idea. Grenades. I'll see what I can do. Day two. Well, okay. Just gonna skip this. Come on. Day two. Okay. Wake up. Yeah, I know. Goody. I'm hey, awake. I am awake. No. Okay, wake up, you said. Well, I'm actually just gonna end this video here, guys. Truly in love with this game. Great graphics. Really love the storyline so far, especially the beginning. The text is, even though it's just text, it really got you into the story why he ended out up here and he ended out up here can you say that why he ended out here at least as a um, as a fire watch and and what's going on in his life recently and again thank you guys for watching if you like the video please remember to subscribe and like it be awesome because I'm returning with a lot of more videos playing this and also games like papers please which I'm really close to finishing actually so um subscribe and be sure to check out my new videos and if you have any suggestions to what i could do or what i could show you guys please don't be afraid to comment even if you have some suggestions to what i can do better with my videos i'll be awesome to hear from you so again again thank you for watching and have a great one guys